foundation to stand and decree these things. So nothing can tell us, who are you to speak? Uh -uh. You have the blood of Jesus. So that's why sometimes I'm sure God is like, what is wrong with these my people? I've given them everything. I've given them knowledge. I've given them the right standing. I've given them understanding. Is it that they don't understand it? Why are they allowing the earth to throw them left, right, and center? And that's why you can be in a plane and you will command. You can be on, in the car and you will command anything. You need to learn to take hold. You need to learn to issue decrees. You need to learn to take hold of the earth and align with the supreme decree of God that is going forth. And you know that whatever God is thinking about you, you know that it's positive. You know that the thoughts that he thinks towards you are thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you into to an expected and to bring your desires to you. So this morning, I just want us to pray. It's already 6 a.m. I just want us to pray this morning upon this watch. Now this is the beginning of another watch. There is an angel that takes over at every watch. There is an angel that takes over at every one. This is the morning watch. And so we're going to decree. Begin to pray right now upon this time, 6 a.m. Begin to pray right now in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord God Almighty, the decree is that the Bible says, has thou commanded the morning since thy days and caused the day spring to know its place. Father, you are the one that commands the morning. You are the one that issues the decree to the day spring. You are the one who tells it where to arise. This morning, in the name of Jesus, I connect with the supreme decree, and I command my morning, and I command in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord God Almighty, I connect in the name of Jesus to that which you have in mind for me, for my family, for my husband, for my children. In the name of Jesus, that which you are decreeing, oh God, concerning this day, I align with it. My Father, in the name of Jesus, I command in the name of Jesus every wickedness that was done in the night, every power of darkness that was released in the name of Jesus concerning my life and for my destiny today in the name of Jesus I break them by the issues that I decree by the decrees that I issue this morning I command them to be lifted I undo every wickedness that was done in the night and I command let the earth let the sun let the moon and the stars let them align in my favor let them align in my favor let them align in my favor let everything begin to fall into place the Bible says the lines are falling onto me in pleasant places that is another confirmation of that scripture the lines are falling onto you in pleasant places that is what that scripture means the lines are falling onto you in pleasant places. The Lord God Almighty has issued the decree. It is falling onto you in pleasant places. So therefore this morning in the name of Jesus we decree that the lines are falling onto us in pleasant places. We have a goodly heritage. Thank you for the portions that you have issued for us today. Thank you for the portions that you have decreed for us today. We walk into the fullness of it. We walk into the fullness of it. Father we will not live our lives less than who you have made us. We will not live our lives less than what you have made us to live. You will not. We will not live less than who you have made us to be. Father we walk in the fullness of your purposes for our lives, for our husbands, for our, for our husbands to be, for our children, for our children to come, for our businesses, for our businesses to come. Father, for the wealth that you put in our hands, for the wealth that is to come. Father, Lord God Almighty, we enter into the fullness of the purposes of these things for our life in the name of Jesus. We align, oh God. We align with your purposes. We align with your plan. Father, we break away fruitless efforts. We break away sweatless victory. We declare, um, we break away, we, 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 we so, sweat and, and toil and we enter into sweatless victory in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord God Almighty, we cannot walk in perfect alignment with your will and we will not see victory. We cannot walk in perfect alignment with your decrees and we will not see fruitfulness. We enter into grace. We enter into grace. We enter into grace. This is grace. This is grace. This is grace. When we enter into the fullness of your decrees upon the earth, people will be wondering, why are you doing this thing so well? It is because we have aligned with you. It's because we are not struggling. It is because we are not trying to do it by our own might. We are aligning our lives to yours. And that is why we are entering into victory. Father, we enter into the fullness of what you have for us in this season. Father, in this season of July, in this season of perfect victory, we declare in the name of Jesus, that which you have for us will not escape us. That which you have for us will not escape us. We issue the decree all day, all day, hear ye the word of the Lord. You will do that which is the bidding of God for our lives today. You will not cooperate with the enemy. We command in the name of Jesus every manipulation of the moon, any manipulation of the stars, every manipulation of the earth by the enemy, we declare in the name of Jesus, we, we declare it a nullity, we declare it nullified, we declare it will not stand. In the name of Jesus, we issue the decree of the Lord. It is that which the Lord has issued that will happen. It is that which the Lord has proposed for our lives that will happen today. In the name of Jesus. Oh, mashata lekembohonde lebrahaya. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. And this is how you pray. And this is how you command. And this is how you take charge of the morning. And this is how you, you decree this is what God will do. And so you enter into a level of dominion you enter into a level of understanding you command every manipulation not to stand you break every manipulation of the moon of the stars of the of the earth every wicked person that is doing things let me, let me tell you something a lot of people are not innocent you just see everybody fine girl carrying bag carrying wig even tongue talking sometimes they are not innocent you have to be switched on 
on. Your head has to be very correct. Do you understand? You cannot be innocent. You cannot, for example, you are pregnant. You are, you are pregnant. You are allowing anybody to touch your womb. Or you are sending pictures everywhere. God will help you. God will help you. Where you should hide your head and be praying and be decreeing concerning that child in your womb and be praying. You are doing chachambaki, <laughs> like the house has said. So do you understand? You have to be very sensitive. You have to be very, very smart. You don't, you, 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 you understand. You have to become spiritually minded. Your heart, your mind has to be focused on God. You cannot be, you cannot be flippant. You cannot be superficial. You, you, we are supposed to be deep. I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will raise young ancients. That's my prayer point. That the Lord will raise 